Gabriel here. <clears throat> um, I want to speak on a couple points. Um, one, my well, we'll just I'm just gonna talk and see where it goes because I haven't really vlogged in a while, so um, I'm just gonna talk. So um, I. Yesterday, I had a presentation um, in my politics class. I um, I really just like tensed up, like in front of everybody, and wasn't able to express myself freely, and um, you know. I wanted to speak on, because it's, the whole class is about third world development and basically the inequalities within this world. Obviously, the solution is the equal money system, and, um, I wanted to, like, bring it into my presentation and speak about it, but within, like, the actual talking of it. I didn't, like, prepare it. Like, I had a presentation. I was doing the presentation on Russia, and I, I was just going to speak after about it, just from the top of my head. <clears throat> and I got up there, and I pretty much just choked and didn't say anything about it. I've always allowed the fear of speaking in front of others, um, in front of a group to direct me and not being effective within it and like when I got up there like I I was like I couldn't really think of what I was saying um, I just totally like, got tensed up and was not effective at all so that's showing me that I need to work more on public speaking and Showing that I have a lot of fear still within myself of how others see me and how I see myself really still within the ego um, personality of wanting to have others see me a certain way and so it's just I don't know, it showed me a lot because you know I want to be within, do politics, I need to be able to speak in front of others effectively and not tense up and pretty much get like a dry mouth. Um, so it's just something to, to see and definitely have points of forgiveness within what I saw, um, fear of others, seeing myself as inferior seeing myself as not being able to um, kind of discuss a point effectively and having that fear of looking stupid or um, foolish. Um, so definitely points to forgive and look at. Um, so that was kind of the realization point, I'd say. Because I haven't spoken in front of a class, and I've been out of school in a long time, for a long time, so I haven't done it in a few years now. Um, also, I went up there with my shaved head, and I'm pretty... Um, well, I wasn't in fear of what people thought of my shaved head or me or whatever. Um, I did go to um, this Christmas dinner the other night. It was like the first time I was in a group type setting of people that I didn't know. Um, and it was cool because I, you know, it was the first time I was in front of people without, you know, with the shaved head. 
and besides like my friends and family, well, in front of my family I have to wear a hat, um, with my parents, at work I have to wear a hat, um, they kind of refuse to see me with a shaved head, they just don't want to see it, and my all my family agree, so, instead of causing unnecessary um, emotions, I guess, from fighting. I just wear a hat around my house. Um, so that's kind of something I want to look at, because it's kind of dishonest. But it's practical for the time being, because... don't want to cause a bunch of bullshit. Um, having a shaved head is awesome. It's so easy, practical. Um, actually, I want to get back to the point of the party. Um, so I went to this, you know, it was like a dinner party, and um, at first, like, I was kind of, I had, you know, nervousness within me because these were, like, I was actually, I went with Dimitri, and these were his, like, work people, and, um, you know, there was some, some comparison within me towards, like, the other woman there. And me being like kind of put out there, um, how others were look like looking at me, but I stopped. I stopped a lot of that, and just um, grounded myself within breath and saw the the unnecessary ridiculousness of thinking about. How others are gonna see me, you know? Do, are they judging me? Yada yada yada. Uh, when I realized that judgment is not real, and how they see me is how they see me, I'm not gonna change anything. Um, but I just kind of grounded myself and stopped those thoughts, and just allowed myself to enjoy myself within the people there, and you know, I had conversations and got to meet his work people and they're really cool and really cool beings, you know, interesting and very generous. Um, so a lot of it is just my own thoughts, my own ideas, my own beliefs about people that I see now within myself and I, I can stop them and not allow it to affect the reality of what was going on and just allow myself to enjoy myself where I am in each moment not as opposed to being in front of that class and being within my mind and not being able to speak properly it's just it was my mind you know throwing in all these ideas that I, you know, what are these people thinking of me? I, I'm inferior to others, I'm not as smart, I'm not as effective in my speech, yada yada yada, so. That was a lot of time. I'm just, it's, it was cool to stop that within that dinner party and allow myself to enjoy myself within the moment and people around me. I'll speak again on some of these points. Thanks for watching.